So today guys, I bring you 6 Cyberpunk 2077 mods, which can only be described as bizarre, which for the most part are either hilarious, not really needed or just cool as heck. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed this video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more cyberpunk be sure to subscribe. So mods on PC are another amazing addition to this game. Some of them, a lot of which I have covered actually make the game a lot more enjoyable and although a lot of these mods are awesome you do get a few that are just crazy and no doubt made for the lols. And today guys I bring you 6 hilarious, weird and bizarre mods you just have to see. And the one in which we're going to start this list off with isn't actually weird, in fact it's quite awesome. But it is definitely not needed as it is a little overkill, but that's still pretty cool. So the mod is called Nuke Night City and well the description is in the name and how this works is pretty much simple. You install the mod, you assign it to any key on your keyboard and then you do this. This mod makes everything explode, well almost everything explode, hence the nuke within its name. And it is pretty cool to see, like I said though a little overkill, but I'm sure you will see the fun in this one. This mod was created by Natsuji, so credit where it's due and if you want to play around with this mod, obviously PC only and you want to blow shit up, this mod you'll find linked down below. Okay so let's move on and next up we have this awesome mod called Cyber Pep where it literally replaces your head with that old so famous meme Pepe or Adu. Absolutely hilarious. Now like I said, is this needed? Absolutely not. Is it bizarre and epic? Absolutely yes. Who doesn't want to wear this face? So yeah this simple mod allows you to play Cyberpunk as Pepe. Now if this is the mod you like the look of, it's a simple install and it's a mod you'll find linked down below. Credit for this one goes to the crazy potato. Okay so let's move on and next up guys, we have one that is truly bizarre. One that's super weird and one I don't even know why it exists or why you'd want to use it. But it is quite funny. Okay so this mod allows you to turn your female characters and make them pregnant. I mean, um. Uh, yeah? <laughs> now I showcased this a little while back in a body morph video and to be honest it was taken as humour for the most part which is what it's all about. I obviously have Panem as my creation hence why this looks like her but you can do this on any female V if you wanna. Would love to know why you'd want her though so let me know down below. This one was created by the white Kanye so credit to him. Okay so next up guys we have one which will no doubt make you laugh. Now I have covered many NPC swap outs in the past like switching out the female joy toy to Judy and Panem or switching out the male joy toy to Johnny Silverhand or Takamura. But guys another one of these swap outs is one of those where you know you shouldn't but you do anyway. It replaces the female joy toy with no one other than Adam Smasher. I mean like wow, I mean why not? If you're going to do something you may as well do it right. But this one itself is utterly hilarious and credit for this mod goes to Bookazoid. 
for this hilarious yet bizarre mod and if you do want to check it out you'll find it linked down below. Ok so lastly guys we have a pair of mods, both bizarre, one more so than the other but at the same time pretty epic. So these mods include no one other than guys, Thomas the Tank Engine and well it's Thomas people. So the first mod allows you to actually replace your Rayfield Caliburn with Thomas the Tank so you can literally drive Thomas the Tank around Night City. I mean why not people? This is absolutely awesome, yeah it's kinda weird but still cool and this mod was brought to us by Crazy Potato and if it piques your interest you'll find it linked down below. But guys this isn't the only mod in which we see Thomas the Tank as there's another mod created by Camtino and this one is well a little more weird as he swaps out the Sean's face for Thomas and well guys it is utterly bizarre. And people there we have it for today's video. Six hilarious, bizarre, weird and awesome mods I just had to showcase to you guys. Right now I will leave you to watch this last mod in action because you really have to see and listen to it to get the full effect from it. So guys if you enjoyed the video and it puts a smile on your face, hit that like button and put a smile on mine. If you're new around here and want to see more cyberpunk, be sure to subscribe and hopefully people I will see you on that next. One. Yo, Mr. V, a pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Mind if I ask you something right off the bat? Would you rather live in peace as Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies without seeing your 30th? It's first place or no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from the eager, supple you. Respect. All right. Uh, what weapon? All right. Understood. Listen Got close. Sure. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scab home. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip, to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Simple. Yeah. Guessing it belongs to a court. Mm hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit. <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving with that. Second, the rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. 